Hey friends, it's Tara with Sweet Country Glam bringing you another great quick earring tutorial. You can create cloth earrings by using some awesome ribbon and some Mod Podge. Let me show you how I created these beauties. Let's get started. stumbled upon this idea as I was working on my ornaments and I had so much ribbon left over that I got from an end cap at Walmart. So I love the Christmas trucks as you've probably seen. So what I did is I strategically placed the solid earring that you see here on my mat and when I ran it through I made sure that I laid the fabric down, the ribbon fabric down, aligned. So for instance I would place it on the one inch line and then I would measure the piece of ribbon out on the mat before I would send it through and I used my maker to cut out these fabric ribbons into the shape of the earring that I'm going to be making today and I'm going to show you how I do that. I did the same thing with some heat transfer vinyl was I just took another piece of the same earring and I placed it over the top. I made it a different color and just made it slightly smaller until I got the nice outline that I wanted for the earring just to give it a little bit of glitter on the outside. So make sure that you go ahead and and you duplicate these. I used my pink mat for my maker or you can use your Explorer if you like. I did use my pink fabric blade and that seemed to really help and you want to secure down your fabric really well with your tape. Then I ran my accent pieces through my Joy using my heat transfer glitter vinyl. So you can go ahead and see all the links in the description. This was a super fun project. Make sure you have a nice little sponge brush and some Mod Podge and let's get started. These are super fun and you can even make your own faux leather by picking out different types of ribbon and creating your own look for your base earring. Remember friends, life is sweet, set some goals, and have a blessed day.